hope traders and investors alike were green on Friday. I hope everybody's having a great, relaxing weekend, getting some rest from the markets. Uh, just some housekeeping real quick. Real quick. Next Monday, not this Monday, but next Monday is Memorial Day. So we have a full week this week. Next week is a four-day trading week. Uh, so just uh, talk about the debt ceiling real quick. Looks So far, it looks, still looks a little dim. Um, of course, both sides are, are digging in for their causes, and it's understandable, deadlines. Uh, but, but we do have a big week this week. A lot's going on. So let's talk about some of the data coming out uh, Monday. Is filled with with Fed speakers. We have them posted in the Discord. Tuesday's PMI. Uh, Wednesday we got Granny Yellen FOMC minutes at two. So Granny Yellen will be moving the market. Uh, she's been coming out spreading a lot of fear, and you know she's bringing a lot of good points. Don't get me wrong, but she does move the market. So that's opportunities for us. Uh, we have her, and it's nice to know the time that she's going to be speaking, so we can take advantage of that. That is a catalyst. And then we have the FOMC minutes. I'm not expecting a whole lot from the FOMC minutes. There shouldn't be a whole lot in that report that, you know, they're not already have already heard or we haven't already heard, but that does move the market. Now, I don't mean it's going to give us an all-new high or an all-new low, but we can take advantage of uh, the opportunities as they come out at 2, two o'clock. So that's a, another catalyst. So on Wednesday or Thursday, we have a GDP, and then Friday, we have PCE and consumer settlement. As for earnings, we have a decent week of earnings as well. Monday, we have Zoom. Tuesday, there's Lowe's, uh, Dick Sporting Goods, BJ's, there's uh, Pan W's in there. Uh, Wednesday, uh, Kohl's, XP, NVIDIA, there's a big one. Uh, we will definitely be uh, all eyes on that. Uh, Splunk, Snow, Path are also on Wednesday. Thursday, we got Best Buy, Dollar Tree, Cost, Ultra in there, Marvel, uh, Workdays in there as well. So we do have a big week, and then we also are seeing a lot of sell signals as well in the market. So let's get looking at the charts, and we'll talk about things as we go through the charts and how charts look and catalysts that are involved with the stocks as we go. You can see this is the SPX weekly, and you can also see we have tested a key level and closed below this key level, this 4,200 level. Uh, that wick needs to be taken out on the S&P 500. That is a big level. But this candle, this move right here still looks healthy. We're going to look at some other charts, and we're going to see some uh, quite a few sell, sell patterns. And, you know, we'll talk about uh, the power in each pattern and what's the chances of us pulling back. Now, uh, you can see breath here. Breath did turn down on Friday. Bonds, bonds have been uh, trying to push up. Got a little bit of bearishness there, a little bit of topping candle on Friday. Other yields are pushing. Their yields, yields pushing are showing us that uh, interest rates is short term, but it is rising. The, the dollar here, we do have a bearish Harami on the dollar after a nice move up. So looking to make money on this, we need a candle to gap down below and move lower or a candle to open up and move lower you have room down to the bottom of the pattern but you know be ready to take profits there if you're going to trade just down to the bottom of the pattern because it could find support at that candle line vix vix had an update on friday market pulling back vix pushing back up into the moving averages crude crude's wedging down here apple so this is a bearish meeting line candle uh this is a bearish candle. It, you find this when you have a whole lot of excitement in the market. You get a nice, strong bullish candle, and that bullish sediment follows through into pre-market going into market open. And when the market open comes in, uh, the whole bearish bullish sediment disappears, and the bearish sediment comes in. Uh, sellers come in and move the candle back down to at or near around the close of the previous candle. How to trade this is. Uh, we're looking for a candle to gap up and move lower or a candle to open up and move below. Uh, confirmation, same confirmation pretty much on all candle patterns. Some you prefer, depending on the placement of the candle, you would prefer to uh, take your take the trade below the low of the, the entire pattern. A lot of traders uh, look for that as well. Your more conservative traders are looking to enter there. You can see Apple's 15-minute chart chopping sideways here. It was a pretty pretty tight range day on Friday. Gold, we did double top. We did break out, move lower. 
uh, to get a green candle on Friday as the markets are moving lower. This is probably more like a flight to safety. See if we can get a retest of the breakout point or the short-term moving average and see if we can get a, a buy signal to move lower. This is the advanced decline lines. They flattened out on Friday. They are still angled down. Some are still holding the nine. AMC struggled on Friday as well. AMC's intraday chart, a nice move down, but it did recover. Couldn't take out the opening candles, but it was able to recover. And you can see here in pre-market made a, a still, or after hours, still made a, a nice move up after hours. Uh, AMD, AMD 15-minute charts, pretty tight action there on Friday. And you can see Amazon here. So this is not really dark cloud coverage, but it's more of a bearish engulfing candle here. And once again, this is a bearish sell signal. So we could see within the next one to three candles, we could see a pullback. Uh, not looking for a huge pullback, but we could see a pullback to the short-term moving average. And there is room there to make money so that it is an opportunity. Arc, arc. So arc took out this trend line. It broke the trend line, coming back, retesting. And we're seeing the nine change character. So your nine starting to flatten out. Hopefully, we're going to push price up and continue higher. Uh, arc's kind of important. I mean, as an indicator, it can be kind of important to keep our eye on a lot of different growth stocks. Uh, MACD is uh, bullish there. AMD. AMD, you have a little bearish Arami here. Uh, so once again, kind of a topping pattern. This is a little different than, obviously, it, it, it's considerably different than the, the bearish meeting line. In this case, we did gap down. So we had this bullish sediment, and at the close, we closed here strong. But in after hours in pre-market, we had gapped down and then opened up and moved lower. So it's got some bearish sediment there. In this case, we're looking for a candle to open up and move below, but there's not enough room in the pattern here, really. So in this case, you want, you're want you looking for a gap down below the entire pattern or for a candle to move down below the pattern, or below the lowest peak of the pattern, the lowest point of the pattern, which would be, in this case, Thursday's candle. Now you can see AMD's weekly chart. Now that looks like a strong chart. That candle closed strong. We give a little bit back on Friday. We could see the daily chart. It's a very strong candle there. Close on oh, AMD's weekly. Now a firm. This is a much stronger bearish and golf, or a bearish Harami in, inside day. Strong bullish golfing and candle. Uh, the next day opened up, gap down just a little bit, and then moved lower with a fairly strong candle. So this for this one. You know, same thing. You're looking for a candle to gap down and move lower or a candle to open up and move below. But you can take the trade here off of this. Just beware of the bottom of this candle, of your first candle. Beware of this candle line because you could find support there. But there's money to be made from there to there with the proper options. That could make a very nice trade. Just just the rest of that candle to be filled. A firm, depending on your trading style, a selection of options of how well that trade would work. Uh, could work very well. A firm moving lower here on intraday. Amazon, you can see this. I did a video for the Discord this weekend. Uh, you can pretty much see the same pattern here that talked about the breakout on Friday, even though this is a couple of days on a larger time frame. You can see the same kind of triple top pattern, the range. So I just drew this out to point this out. If you can, you know, think about the video that we put in this weekend uh, about how we traded on Friday. And just consider that the rectangle there with the same range and all that video that we did. Uh, Amazon, nice close here, trying to push up. Nice trend break. Apple, Apple still pushing here on the weekly. Very strong push. Uh, still close strong on the weekly. Like I say, we are seeing some topping candles on the daily. So that could be a one to three day pullback. Not saying we're pulling back for a new low, but we tested a major level of resistance. We may have to pull back a little bit to uh, find some support at a short-term moving average and then bounce back up to retest that, that resistance. Boeing. Boeing's not doing a lot there, but it is sitting on top of that daily 50, so that's a good sign. See if that 9 will come up and help push it up. Uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin weekly here under the weekly 9, holding the weekly 200, weekly 20s on its way up to help push price up. Bitcoin daily. 
struggling here under this resistance level, trying to get back into it a few times and gets gets rejected and pushed back under it. Uh, you can see it's a pretty good zone there, and that zone is now acting as resistance and is not allowing it back inside. Uh, the short-term 20 is coming down. Your, your 20 day is on its way down to help push price down. The MACD is trying to change character, so we're, we're going to keep a close eye on this one this week. And that's like if you go back and you look at the weekly chart, so we have the MACD up here. The MACD is definitely changing character. The PPO down here is definitely changing character as well. Could we be getting ready for a weekly uh, Bitcoin MACD and PPO cross to the downside? Or are we going to pinch and get ready for another move up? Kind of a crit critical uh, level there. We'll keep an eye on Bitcoin this week to see, see what it wants to do. Uh, Boeing, Boeing, pretty choppy day on Friday. Come down, struggle with that. that your 15-minute 200 was able to take it out in after hours. CVX tried to push up on Friday, did get back above that daily nine, uh, see how we act, see where we open up tomorrow. MACD is changing character there on the one. You can see the action here on Friday, really tight wedging, uh, symmetrical triangle, very wedgish right there, very tight action. Looks like it wanted to you know, break out and make a big move. That's the kind of action that you expect price acceleration from when you get to break out. Charge point. Nice down candle on Friday, get staying in this zone below this resistance level. So we have resistance above us here. See how we act this 9 and 20 is on its way down on the daily to help push price down. Uh, coin, kind of evening starish right there. It's definitely not perfect. You can kind of see the pattern. We would like to see it up in an uptrend. Um, but still got some bearishness there. I like the way this side, this bearish engulfing candle, is below this range here i like it better below this week i'll take a trade well might as well say below the daily 20 looking for a trade to the downside and we got the communication sector nice breakout here of this uh inverted head and shoulders pretty large pattern so we can expect a big move our short-term moving average has crossed the breakout point of the uh, head and shoulder, inverted head and shoulders pattern. So got kind of a bearish Rami here. Would like to see a comeback, pullback, retest that short-term moving average. And that's where we're going to look for a trade on that pullback. When it comes back for that retest, that's where we're going to be looking to enter at. XLP holding this support level for cons consumer staples. Cost. Uh, this is a, it's a decent looking chart. You can see it has been trending higher here. It's been trading in this little wedge. Um, you can see this recent uptrend here where it's been pushing higher, pushing right into the top of resistance. And this big battle here has caused a considerable amount of trading volume in this level. So there's a considerable amount of support and resistance in here. Uh, it's just a lot to struggle in. I'm very interested in this chart if we break above this vo these volume profile bars to where it can move freely. Very interested into it. Or break to the downside, but there's farther to go. You can see you have a lot of support down here. So... And even if we get a break to the downside, I still want to be outside of that box. DraftKings, nice recovery here. Uh, this one had a great report. Let's keep an eye on these ones that had good reports. Nice recovery. Uh, looked like it wanted to pop on Friday. Pull back. A uh, Lily, still a strong chart. Just an amazingly strong chart. Nice passive income chart there. XLE, trying to push up on Friday. It did gap up, but ended up getting a low close candle there, a little spin on top. Google, Google, very shooting starish here. So we, we're in an uptrend. This is where we expect to see a shooting star. This is a topping candle. This could mean that we're going to try to pull back. Remember, your next one to three days could be pulling back to the nine. This doesn't mean we're looking for an all new low, even though we could get one, but we are very extended here. This is where we need to pull back. Look for a touch of our short term moving average and see if we can get a move off of that. Still got a great MACD there. Still showing a ton of relative strength, but Friday's candle is a little scary. Uh, it can be a little, little concerning, but like I say, it does not mean that the market's going to pull back and put in a, a brand new low. But it could be a, a good time to start taking profits, you know, locking in some profits to make sure, you know, you're you just in case it does lose the short term moving average and pull back sharply. You know, you have some profits locked in. Goldman Sachs chopping around down here. Got to clear those moving averages on the daily before I'm interested into it. IWM, 
15 minute chart you can see struggling with the 15 minute 200 was, ended up snaking around it big move down the Q's bearish Harami here. This is not a very pow powerful bearish Harami candle. It's very small, just a, a inside day after a big move, you know, wanting options expiration day, wanting to let the short the short term moving average, daily moving averages catch up. It's not a very bearish candle. It is a topping sign and it, it could be considered as a sell signal if it's confirmed, but it has to be confirmed. And it's not the most powerful signal. So the Q's here, very nice push up out of this flag. Strong week last week, close strong on the weekly candles. JP Morgan, nice push up here as well. Friday, once again, kind of uh, topping candle there. Las Vegas Sands, LVS, come down, touch that 50, push back up. Maybe we can see a a sign of rejection here and get a move back down from your short-term moving average maybe we can get a move back down to that 50 that could pay nicely with the proper strike we'll be keeping an eye on that one lockheed martin down here struggling with that 200 moderna moderna once again has is still moving lower trying to push back up see if we can get a touch of the short-term moving average a little bear flag action and see if we can get a move lower or clear the nine see if we can get a move back up and test that support level or that resistance level moderna i'm sorry mara trading very sideways here very tight action uh, i need this one to be outside of these moving averages there's way too much going on here uh just too much resistance above them or below them I would be happy to trade it, but I need it to break out of those. That action is way too tight. A big move's coming, just a matter of time. Uh, Merck, Merck holding support, trying to push back up off support. Below those daily 9 and 20, need to keep an eye on those. Meta, not much of a candle here on Friday. You know, very tight action here. Uh, it's There's just not a whole lot. It is a bearish around me, but there's just not a whole lot of bearishness in that candle. Meta intraday was pretty choppy on, on Friday. Microsoft, see, in this case, you have a bullish Harami here. So it's a, a small bullish candle. Uh, Microsoft, very, very choppy action on Friday. Very, very tight range. We could see that daily candle. Uh, but you can also see a Microsoft weekly here. This has just been, you know, pushing up, t push up, take a break push up take a break so we have now we've pushed up we may need a break you can also see these candles are getting smaller here so that's also a sign all by itself that's a sign of uh starting to top out of momentum slowing nvidia this bearish harami there there's not a whole lot of bearishness in that candle but coming into earnings this, this has made a huge move it's even better you can see it even better you can see intraday let's take a look at the weekly chart here you can see how big this move was we were calling it down here when we were breaking up above this area this is when we were calling this move huge move up then give us this nice flag several nice flags that was a perfect flag and continuing higher so we've made this huge move. We're coming into earnings. We may be seeing some profit taken after earnings, no matter what the report is. We'll be on our radar. NASDAQ got some topping candle action there as well. Still not a lot of bearishness in it. They did follow the bullish momentum and gap up. Just not a very big candle there at all. Netflix. Bearish Harami there. Topping candle after a really big move. Uh, needs an inside day or two. Pendleton bear flag in here at the daily nine. See if we can break that bear flag and get a move lower or take the nine out. See if we can get a move up to the daily 20. Q's pushing up here. Redraw the fib levels. Uh, pushing up. Same levels. Just moved them over. Uh, you can see we can get a move up to looks like the 346 level possibly before resistance there on the monthly. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, look, great looking chart though. Robolex daily, back down on that daily nine. SPX, this is the S&P 500. Once again, pretty much the same candle that we got on the uh, uh, several other candles, not just the Qs, but several other charts. Diamond struggling here, you can see, tried to push up above the moving averages and end up get, getting snatched back below them on a daily. 
still holding. We still closed above that weekly 9 and 20. So it's still a good sign there. SPY weekly breakout confirmed, breaking out of that flagged right into your short-term moving average. I mean, that, that's a great, great-looking chart. It really is. Uh, you can see some resistance over here from the last time we were in this area. Nice push on the SPY. You can see the daily. Let's take a look at the monthly. You see the FIB levels coming up a little quicker there. Take a look at this day at daily chart. You can see the like the cup and handle action breaking up above the short term moving average is on its way up here to clear. Tomorrow, hopefully, it would be nice if we can get our nine up here as high as possible and get a pullback. Give us we've got a bearish rhyme. Give us a little pullback, retouch the nine, and then continue higher. Uh, that would be nice. That would maybe be a little too easy, but let's see if we that's what we we can get. Uh, the problem is with Mondays we can expect two pullback, you little choppy normal Monday, kind of give us another inside day setting up for a move uh, further in the week. That's what I would really like to see. A 15 minute intraday, you can see how tight that action was. Some really good good trading in Friday though, if you depending on your trading style. Square trying to break up above this resistance level. It has broken the downtrend. It's got to clear the previous day's candle. CRM, you can see a little bearish harami there. Pretty tight action. Shop, shop is starting to suffer here. You can see kind of bear flag. It looks like we're trying to break out of the bear flag here. Uh, the nine, daily nine is rolling over. Keep an eye on that MACD. Looks like we're getting ready to lose that chart. See what tomorrow brings. A Tesla grinded higher on Friday. Now, XLK, very small bearish Harami there, very small. Tesla, you can see, trying to push up here back on the weekly. Take a look at the daily. The daily back above resistance here, gap filled, back above resistance, back above the daily 50. See if we can get a move higher. This MACD is opening up. Decent volume on Friday. Let's keep Tesla on the radar this week. Look at the volume profile. We are coming into some heavier uh, volume there. Uber trying to push up. We got a nice little momentum candle here. Need to get a candle up above this wick, Thursday's wick. I'd like it up above that wick on volume. Prefer to see some volume in that chart. Walmart struggling here. Very evening starish. Definitely not pretty there. That is a very not pretty pattern. Look at the bearish volume coming in on that. Look at the bearish volume earnings just you know it is what it is xlf banking sector very dark cloud coverage there you can see where we gapped up pulled back in uh, not a perfect dark cloud cover we're going to see a better one here in a second uh, exxon mobil gapped up low close candle small spinning top there bonds are moving lower we broke this range we filled the gap we are moving lower we don't really want to see that uh, IWM, we did close on the weekly green and close back above the weekly nine. Your weekly nine is turning up. We got a lot of levels. You got your weekly 200, your 50 to 20, a lot of levels there. And let's go look at IWM's daily. This is a nice example of a dark cloud cover. You had two strong updates, very strong updates showing uh, buyers in charge, some very bullish momentum. That momentum followed up with a big gap up on the third morning. This is called a dark cloud cover. And the name kind of speaks for itself. Uh, the jet was one of the Japanese names, and it speaks for itself. So it gapped up. You can see, you know, the bullish momentum followed this candle in the pre-market. When market opened, it had gapped up. And the, when market opened, the sediment changed from bullish to bearish. And the uh, sellers were able to bring the candle back down and close well past uh, the 50% mark. More like two thirds, which is what I like to see. Two thirds of the candle was retraced, and that's a very powerful bear sell signal. There, it's a very strong candle. Uh, so our put the call ratio ninety, looks like ninety, still neutral. Oscillators fifty seven positive for the Nasdaq. Uh, the New York Stock Exchange give a little bit back at a negative thirteen. Still neutral, plenty of room to move in either direction. And this concludes our video for today. Please remember, discipline is the key to your success in trading. And I'll see you in the trading room.